Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to share with you kind of an update on how I'm doing in regards to losing weight, all of that. Going to be a quick little bonus video for you because I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Want to tell you what I've done. So without further ado, let's get into this. As I had shared in a previous video, I lost about 50 pounds. And then due to stressors and stuff like that, I went off my diet plan and started to gain the weight back. And so um, I decided like I'd gained 40 pounds and I decided, okay, I really wanna try lose the weight regardless of whether the stress has disappeared or not. So I decided to go back on keto. So I had been on keto. I don't lose the weight very fast. So some people lose it just bang. For me, it takes a little while longer, but I felt so much better on keto. So uh, my I swell really bad uh, unless I'm on keto. When I'm on keto, my ankles look like ankles. And even when I was significantly less weight, uh, I was still always swollen. So keto, for whatever reason, my body really responds positively from a health perspective. Uh, so just feeling very much uh, like less swollen, more energy, no brain fog, it just made, made a huge difference for me. So um, in the past couple of weeks, went back on keto, really been careful, done some intermittent fasting, took me about a week, uh, a week or so. And then all of a sudden I noticed, oh, uh, I, I like I my wrists, like I had more of a wrist. So uh, I swell even in my arms uh, when I'm not on keto. So all of a sudden I had wrists again, uh, my ankles look like ankles again, my feet aren't swelling up like balloons by the end of the day, even in the heat. Uh, so I feel, uh, just from a physical perspective, I feel so much better because the swelling's gone. So I don't hurt as much, like it, it's gonna take a little bit for that to completely go away, but definitely feel way better from that perspective. Uh, the biggest shift for me, I heard it on some, like just somewhere, I'm not sure exactly, but the whole idea of choosing to be uncomfortable. So I, I was thinking about that and it's like choosing to be uncomfortable uh, rather than self-soothe. So no matter what kind of an addiction you have, whether it be shopping or whether it be food or something else, a lot of times we do those things to self-soothe. So even the terms, I heard a lot of you in the comments put things like, I'll say to myself, oh, I deserve it. I, I need to take a break. I deserve this treat or whatever. So the idea is, is that in the midst of having a major struggle, uh, or a stressful day or whatever, instead of trying to self-soothe through an unhealthy habit uh, or addiction to actually allow yourself to feel that, that discomfort. So maybe it could be something as simple as bored. So when I'm bored, I eat. Uh, when I'm stressed, I eat. Uh, when I'm down, I eat. So all these different ways that I choose to eat. Some people choose to shop, whatever. I choose to eat. I'd probably choose to do all of them if I had money. But anyway, um, so I decided I'm going to choose to feel uncomfortable. So, so rather than self-soothing in a destructive way, I'm going to choose to be bored and figure out something else to do. I'm going to choose to feel the feelings and cry or go to meditate or whatever it is that I need to do, go exercise, something healthy, have a conversation, ask for help. Whatever it is that I need to do that's more healthy rather than self-soothing, I'm gonna do. So I've chosen uh, to be uncomfortable, if that makes sense. So I'm trying that, seeing how it goes. Uh, I do know that that really helped in regards to intermittent fasting because I really struggle uh, for intermittent fasting. Cause I want, I, you know, I kind of want to eat, uh, just out of boredom a lot of times. So I'm like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose to do this. So, uh, that's working. I've lost about three pounds so far in the past two weeks, which to me is about on par with my normal, uh, you know, like I know lots of people, the weight just melts off for me. It doesn't work that way. And I'm okay with that. Uh, so that's what I'm doing so far and it's working. So I want to encourage you guys, if there's something that you're doing and you go, I know that this is unhealthy. I know that I want to stop this behavior, whether it be something like shopping or perfume buying or TV watching or 
or eating or or alcohol or whatever. My coping mechanism is to fill those places of discomfort by self-soothing through food. So I'm going to choose to go, no, I'm going to be uncomfortable. I'm going to choose to to work through whatever feelings are there. I'm going to choose to, uh, you know, do something healthier if possible. Uh, or I'll just choose to be bored or stressed or whatever it is, but I'm not going to fill the void through food. So that's, that's, that's all I got. That's what I'm doing. We'll see how it works. Uh, I've also started going for uh, a little bit of a walk in the morning, uh, although that hasn't happened regularly yet. So doing that, trying to incorporate more exercise and then uh, really trying to work on my sleep habits too. So uh, trying to get to bed a bit earlier, uh, doing my binaural beats with the bliss machine. I love that thing. Like it really does make me sleep better. So doing that, doing the bliss machine at six Hertz. If you guys want me to talk more about the bliss machine, I can, uh, I'll leave the app link down below, but seriously, my husband and I have both been doing it for bedtime and I can't believe how much better I sleep. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Choosing to be uncomfortable. Does that make sense? What are your thoughts about that? I want to, I, I'm hoping that by choosing to be uncomfortable, then I'll figure out why I'm actually bored. Like, what am, am I wasting my time? Uh, if I'm stressed about something, how can I learn to cope in a better way than just to stuff my feelings down? So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'll keep you posted. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.